we did some laundry tonight. We got two lines up. We're camping underneath the DC-4. Check this thing out. It's way up there. Only in Alaska where everything's bigger. Good grief indeed. We're camped right under it. Would have been cool to see the day that they put this up here. There's a crane across the street. They probably bought it just for the occasion. So we're taking a walk around the Chena Hot Springs. How come I can't get you in here? Is it possible? We're taking a walk around the Chena Hot Springs Resort. We pitched our tent, did some laundry. They got all kinds of cool stuff around here. Little sort of Model T-like tractor over there and some kind of dragon art. They got a bunch of cabins. Of course, we're too cheap for that. This place is all about making money, let me tell you. The people that are coming here, poof, they wanted $20 a piece for a shower. Comes with a hot spring bath, but we couldn't get a shower for just a shower. 20 bucks. Each. $40 Each. for us to have a shower, and we're staying at a $20 tent site. Right, uh, we so. Just, we splash bathed at the tent site. And yeah. Good enough. Check out this gear chair. Probably old mining equipment stuff they just found around here. I don't know how comfortable that is, but uh, <laughs> got the dragon. Oh, that's bronze or brass? Uh, probably bronze. It looks bronzy. Yep, it does. Huh. A lot of them are steel, though. <laughs> what do we got here? Onions? No. Corn. Squash or cucumbers? Beans are coming up, cucumbers, I'd say. We heard from the Harley guy at the last campground that this place has a pretty fancy restaurant. I think they grow all their own stuff. They got a huge greenhouse. Uh, not just this one, this is just the flower greenhouse looks like. The water's pretty sulfury smelling. All kinds of old cool stuff. Tough to beat the airplane, unless there's a train. wonder if they'd let us trim all their scapes for a shower. <laughs> Studebaker truck. Ford truck. Something older. I don't know what it is. GB. Actually, I don't know. What is it? G you tell me what it is. Write it in the comments. Definitely do their own recycling and collect their own scrap. I mean, check this out. We got your copper pipe. We got your aluminum cans. We got your air conditioner aluminum bits. Wiring. More aluminum bits. Metal bits. Tires. More metal. They must have a crusher in here. See, I'd pay money to take a tour of the crusher, but they don't offer that. I had no idea the Alaska Railway came here, so it must be a spur off the main line. Pretty sure it goes to Anchorage. Pretty interesting. Get a video of it going out. Let's go this way. I don't know what's in the Ice House Museum, but this is the backside of it. And uh, I'm guessing they keep ice in there all year round for, you know, the tourists who've never seen it. They can go in and check out ice, maybe they stick their tongue to a pole. So we're off to do the the shower hack here. We're not paying 20 bucks for a shower, so we're gonna do something different. Mmm, salt room. I mean, there was wood in the fire pit, so it's our responsibility. <laughs> I don't mean to complain, 
but 20 bucks for campsite? We have not yet had a decent picnic table. I mean, you can't even sit on this thing. Anyway, I'll probably cut this out. We got six inch eye beans welded together. Oh yeah, nice welds too. This is really cool, but it's not doing anything. Nope. <laughs> they may have thought they needed to tie it together, but man, this thing is triangulated nine ways from Sunday. Look at that. It's, it's crazy. Good grief indeed. I bet you could Wikipedia this, figure out how they did it. Next door, we got the telly squirt. I'm not kidding you. The whole hillside over here is burnt. So I think that's why they have this fire truck and they got a pumper over there full of water. And they're ready to fight their own forest fires because no one's going to come here and help you. None of this video is going to be used. Meanwhile, back at camp. Larson's Lock Shop in Fairbanks. And they were able to fix me up with a key, and it works. So that's good. We can take our boxes off again. And I got two. They're generally swarming. <laughs> Let's see what's going on under the bike cover. Swarmy. We have pasta primavera with um, cut up sauteed red bell pepper and a really nice can of smoked coho from Gerald and Shannon in Washington State and boy does this look tasty. It stopped raining finally. It's like 7.30 in the morning and we're gonna make a run for it. Which everything's packed up. 
<laughs> it's extremely wet out. Just went and got water out of the river. Looks a lot better than the water that's coming out of the pool. guy we talked to at camp last night told us about this spring water place. A lot better than the water we're drinking at the campsite. What do you do when your tent's all wet? Well, it's really hot and sunny and we're in ni 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 Ninana, Alaska at the train station museum and we just pitched our tent outside of it. Why not? It'll be dry probably in like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 